Well guys, we're in April now, so the 2022 Toyota Tundra TRD Pros are finally getting released out into the public, but are they worth it? Let's talk about that. So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we are talking about if the new Toyota Tundra TRD Pro is worth it. Now, if you don't wanna to listen to my video and my opinions, I'll just say this. If you don't care about a special edition color, and if you're gonna modify a TRD off-road and put different suspension and wheels under it, do not get the TRD Pro. But if you are in the market for that specialty vehicle, that one of a kind vehicle from Toyota, you like all the features that it has, you like the special edition solar octane color, and you just want everything stock and good from Toyota, then stick around for this video. So back in January, I was finally able to not only drive this TRD Pro off-road, but I was also able to drive it on-road. The main characteristic that makes this TRD Pro worth it is the powertrain. It's that hybrid powertrain only. The only configuration you can get this truck in is Crew Max, five and a half foot bed, and that hybrid iForce Max motor. It drives incredible, it's great. The Fox suspension on the road, it's nice and soft. It's, it's one of the best driving 2022 Tundras, third gen Tundras that I have driven thus far. It drives really, really good. It's solid inside, had no rattles like mine, at least this production model that I was able to drive. So it, it was a very good vehicle. Low end torque with that iForce Max motor. Everything was so great about it. The solar octane appearance, insane. In this shorts video I made, people were kind of ripping on me because I was talking about the premium price for the color. Well, this is the first time that Toyota has ever charged a premium price 425 extra dollars for a premium color. You look at the 4Runner TRD Pro, Tacoma TRD Pro, older Tundra TRD Pros, Toyota never did this. Now the only issue with this is that come next year, 2023, if Toyota puts that solar octane on another Tundra, the pre will the premium stay there? Is the color not even worth it? Because Toyota in the past has been notorious on both Tacoma and Tundra. Whatever the special edition color was the year prior, they put it on every single model of Tacoma and Tundra the following year. So kind of made a lot of people upset, kind of made some people like, hey man, I had the special edition color, why is it on this TRD Sport or whatever? That's just how Toyota was in the past. But what makes that different in this third generation Tundra is the camo seats, the technical camo seats. You have the technical camo all on the wheel wells, front bumper, rear bumper. There are a ton of accents with this truck to make it really stand out. The TRD Heritage Grill, the TRD light bar up front, the marker lights that say TRD in it, full panoramic moonroof, the cockpit red interior for both white, black, and lunar rock. Just a lot of things in this truck make it super special and that still no matter what, even if solar octane is a color on a normal SR5 or whatever next year, it is still a TRD Pro when it's a TRD Pro because you know the interior and all the other special little things that the truck has. That is what makes the truck very, very special. So is it worth it? Personally, I think it is. I'm gonna be getting one. I'm not sure yet if it will be the Solar Octane. I have talked with people and I hope that I am able to get a Solar Octane probably this time next year. Uh, I'm not gonna dive right into the hybrid powertrain right away. We're gonna enjoy the normal iForce Tundra that we have, build it up a bit, and then when things fall into place, I'll be picking up my own TRD Pro. So for me, with an MSRP of 66,805 before destination and other fees as well, I think that the TRD Pro is worth it. If you guys do or don't, let me know down in the comment section down below. Are you on a list at your dealership for one? Do you have one right now? Is it worth it? Is it cool? Are you enjoying it? Let us all know down in the comment section. Guys, if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers as always. Appreciate your guys' support and I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later. Thank you.